Hey, welcome to part 9. In this part, we're gonna start working on the hairs on the back. But as you can see, now we can really quickly see 0 to 5 and the corresponding layers. So let's take a look if this clump is actually working how we want it to work. I do like to start off with the same side all the time because we've been working on this side and mirroring. Can do the same here. But do whatever you prefer, of course. So this should be around the ears. A little bit over it. So something like this. And remember we still need to place cards around them as well. And this is way too long. So something like this. And again pay attention to the roots. And I think we can use a little bit more width, actually. Now we just make it go in the hairs. And make sure that you follow the flow really closely here so it will blend in nicely. Let's push this one out a little bit. And you can see how this hair is a lot more three-dimensional as it's a clump opposed to this. Let's just mirror this. Let's take a quick look how that looks. I feel like those are, yeah, they're not really even. One easy way to check that is to make a cube. Make it smaller. This way we have like a sanity check. Let's say over here is where they should end. So for this one, one needs to be a little bit higher. This one can be a little bit lower. Let's orient a little bit. Seeing a lot of black here. So let's try to orient it. That's better. So let's export again. And you can see how it's looking right now. I think we have a little bit too much of uh, like a one, two shape going on. So we need to fix that. But I think this works pretty nicely. It looks like actual hair like it has some volume and all. But let's do the blend a little bit better. So if we take a look from this angle, start moving it until it looks more natural. So something like this. And you want to make sure that you have these hairs actually going in the hair. They end oddly. You can taper it more. Mm. 
remember we can still fill this area up as well and we'll cover it later on for now let's mostly worry about getting the nice silhouette something like that maybe let's get rid of this one and just mirror it again make sure that the black is hidden like that can also use this one to check the height of both cards The roots are going in. As you can see, it looks a lot better now, the blending. We don't have like that hoop hoop. Now it's looking more like one continuous curve, which is something that we want. I think the flow can be a little bit better here. Should be a little bit more going to the right. So we had a quick crash. Let's go ahead and see how it looks in Unreal. That's looking pretty good as well. So let's go ahead and fill the empty areas up. So one more here. And for this, we're gonna fill it with the other clump that we made with less transparency. a bit so it's looking a little different can twist it a little bit now I'm like trying to fill up this like we have a harsh angle here I'm just trying to make it more smooth Get rid of all the curves. Let's do a fill. <coughs> Again, make sure that we don't have too much black popping through. So something like this maybe. We need one more fill here. Now let's mirror these cards. Let's need a little bit of an orientation. Good eye on the flow. 
because if the flow is weird here, the cards are not gonna blend in nicely. So let's try this. Let's take a look at the polycarp. It's a little bit high, but maybe we'll reduce it later. But for now it's okay. You can see how much nicer the hair looks right now. So let's just take these and move them out and check the difference. So we have this. Once we move them inside and do an export. You can see how much nice and realistic it's starting to look. But this transition is really rough. So now we need to place the other cards around them, the other clumps. Once we've placed this, we're gonna get a better idea of what it's actually looking like. Let's give this a new color. Let's go with a light blue. Can check where the black is. So like that. Actually, it's a little bit better on the roots. this some tape Again, make sure that you work with SC because the plugin has some problems with MB files. The curve plugin. Makes it a little bit more thick. I think like this is looking really nice. You can see we have some thin hairs here. That's what we're trying to achieve now. Gonna move this to its own layer. Let's just group it. Go ahead and call it six. Underscore B. And that's section to lay. This doesn't need to be perfect yet. We're still gonna fill this up with smaller, more detailed cards. But this, this just to like blend the, this really harsh, just to add some blending to that. Let's try it like this. I think you can see that now we get a little bit of a more soft effect. All 
right there. I want to intersect them a bit. And I'm just trying to look for a nice transition to blend it better. So now we have a little bit less of a harsh transition from these cards to the clumps. Right now I kind of want to hide uh, like we have this shape going on and I'm trying to fill these empty spaces now so it's more of a continuous nice curve I think we can move this one up a little bit it's more like that and I'm just looking at here we have clearly cut hair so just move it in a little bit so it's hidden by the other hairs let's do a fill we can do it too yeah like that Sure that they rotated differently so they're not that obvious that's the same clump something like that I do not like the flow on those coffers so I'm gonna add the one more here just gonna fill the empty space up here and make the make these blend a little bit more with the whole hairstyle this maybe a little bit bigger now just make sure it's going in the middle we can now clump them together with all the hairs Get some variation in the lengths see the we have three cards here that look exactly the same so we can just kind of twist the the roots that's gonna break that repetitiveness up also move it a little bit this 
Let's make an X spot to see how it's actually looking. And actually I wanna think these two. I guess we can. Nah, let's take these two. Let's do a fill in between. Do one. Let's make it a little bit more thick. Pay attention to the silhouette. Let's do a mirror. like how much this is sticking out here see if we can get it a little bit better but we can also edit it with the topology later so let's take this one let's just change the flow up a little bit and i think it's a lot of polygons now at 2k we're probably gonna reduce this back to like 1k later on but again first worry about getting the whole hairstyle now later on we can reduce as we need to so as you can see that's looking pretty nice and three-dimensional it has some real depth to it and we're still gonna like add some cards in front of this to make sure the blending is softer. But you can see that it works pretty good. Like it's not too harsh. It's ar around the same as the the other hairlines. Let's do a quick check in and real as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the depth a lot. And you can see how the clumps make it look a lot more like actual hair. Like we get all this nice depth in them. Later we're also gonna bake out the uh, ambient occlusion for Unreal Engine. So that's gonna have a little bit more depth for hair. So right now we only have the screen space ambient, but we can actually bake the ambient occlusion to the vertex color. Then we're going to get an effect like here we can change the ambient occlusion. We can change the sizing. We're going, we're going to get all this depth that we get from the AO. We're going to get in Unreal as well. As you can see how much it adds here. Makes it a little bit less strong. Now I do not like this one. We have like a weird thick thingy going here. Let's see if we can spot it in Unreal as well. Yeah. So let's see which one it is. It's this one. So all we gotta do is move it in a little bit. Now it should be gone. As you can see, now it's going in the hair. I think that's fine for now. As you can see, making hair is really slow. But just take it one area at a time and you'll be fine. So 
for now let's actually move back to the ponytail and work a bit on that because we're lacking like a lot of volume right there now so let's unhide all that let's start working on it so let's see where we left off tail base at the breakup we kind of switched up the the planning as you remember so we don't really need the coffer as we already have that because the breakup is the coffer same for here we don't have a baby hairs the detail we can get rid of that same for noise and same for fly is this just the base there's gonna be the coffer around it if you remember uh, screen area like this is what we have now the inside and now we're gonna need to work on the outside that's gonna be the coffer so here let's start off with uh, the base actually call this base clump and to get this I'm gonna make a few clumps like we did here but thick ones this time so let's take a look at our cards let's see what we can use for this I think we can use these two to make like a thick clump. Let's give that a try. So, kind of like this one. go with the gray background and let's see for this one because we need it to kind of work from all angles instead of doing two I'm gonna go for more like a triangle shape using three of them but you want to remember the more cards that you use for your clump the the higher the poly count is gonna get really fast. Just think something like this. Now let's move them in a bit. One thing that I wanna make sure is that. Uh, do I? Now let's keep the ends the same so the topology is aligned better for now. Nah, Let's change the end for one. Let's go ahead and go into solo mode for this. So take this. It will be a little bit easier to see. go ahead and go to shading show and we can alt one for the curves so just hit alt one to hide all curves so we can also quickly get them back again i think that's pretty nice what we have now it's not this one one 
so we have a clear back side of the the cards that we can put towards the ponytail. I think we need a little bit more variation at the end though. Let's just take this and track it out. Some curvature. Go ahead and add some twisting as well. Let's try some taper. have a little bit too much variation in the roots right now so twist let's make sure they line a little bit better so that's better i think they're all a little bit too flat from the side right now so let's take one and rotate it a bit as well just keep working away at it until you get something that you like there's quite a lot of ah. Not too much actually, the poly count. For the longest one, let's increase the divisions a little bit. I'm just trying to make it line up with the others. So, like this, it's pretty aligned. Old one to hide all curves. You can see that's a pretty nice looking clump actually. One thing that I want to do is I want to break the clump off, break the clump up a little bit. It's pretty perfect right now. So I think we're gonna need to make a new card for that, new texture. Yeah, we do. It's gonna be like um, a single hair. Let's add a new block. And let's just go ahead and make one single hair. I think I prefer to... Ah, actually let's just put it here. And for this single hair, I want to make sure that I have a really thin root. So we can use it for nice uh, transitions at the roots of the hair as well, at the hairline. Just want to match it to this one. And I think the overall thickness can be a little bit thicker. Because we want to have the single hairs to be quite noticeable. So make sure that your root is nice and soft. A little bit longer. Just trying to use all the space here. So something like this. Let's make sure we have a little bit of uh, a curl in the hair. 
just gonna look more natural. And that's too much. We can go to alpha. Let's go to the main scatter and let's make sure the tip is also quite thin. Let's take the overall thickness and make it a little bit thinner. A little bit more of a curl. Okay, for now, let's give it a try. I'm also gonna make a duplicate of this one. Let's also let's call this one a single. And make sure we lock the UV. For this one, I wanna have a few more hairs so we can have some clumping. So, depth density, let's put it up a little bit. Change the width a little bit. Something like this, maybe. Perfect. So now we have some hairs. And I want quite a lot of length randomness. Let's go ahead and add a clump. Now you can see we have some clumping hairs, which is good. Let's look for something that we like. Like this, let's add some fly away. We have some nice clumping here. Let's change the root slope a bit. It's a bit more variation there. I do not like this, uh, but it's okay. We can cover that with another card. But I like how the clump is here. You can see how it's taking a bit more time now that we have more cards. Rem remember put the JPEG. Just keep them all on. And if you remember, we need to do the alpha. So let's pick a color. Let's go with a red. Let's play the action. This way we can also check if the export part was in the right position. As you can see we have our new hairs. I think we can use a little bit more of a... Uh, like a wave in the... in that one this one that we made with clumping. Let's add a new curl. Yeah, something like... Like this. Make sure it's a little bit less on the root though. That's too much now. I think like this. So 
also change the length to be a little bit shorter than this one. We can make this one a little bit less thick, as this one needs to be less noticeable. I think that looks a little bit more natural. Just make sure the single has nothing intersecting. It's so now Photoshop uh, in Maya, I mean. Let's make a new card here. Alt 1 to get all the curves. Now for this one, make sure we put the width to 2, because we don't need any profile. Let's get our alpha on there. Alright, here's a single hair. We can also adjust the thickness of this single hair by adjusting the card itself, the thickness. Leave a little bit of space. Keep in mind that we have that curl in there, so it needs to have some thickness. Like that. That's looking quite strange. Let's see what's up with that. Ah, we need to reload the textures, maybe. Nope. It's just looking strange because it's so thick right now. Let's change the width. Something really low. Maybe point eight. I think that looks nice. Let's also make a duplicate of this one. Let's take our hair clumps that we have here. Remember we can forget about this one because we're gonna cover it later. I think that's a pretty nice looking card as well. Let's start off with this one. Gonna duplicate it. a little bit more deficient. Let's orient it. Make sure we have some clumping.
You can see that now we have a little bit more of a break up here. And at the point we have some extra. Let's take this one. This one's gonna be the, the one that does the most work. Again, make sure it's like sticking with all the hairs, the clumping that I'm talking about. So as you can see now, we have like a new clump going here. Let's duplicate this hair one more time. I think we can also get a little bit low on the poly count. So just hit Alt 1. And then you will still have your curve selected. Now we can just make it lower really easy we can actually see how it looks because right now it's really difficult to preview because it's so thin i think we need 12. something like this I think that's a little bit too extreme to have for every clump. So something more subtle like that. So I like that. <coughs> and I think that's looking a bit odd as well. I think it's this one maybe, yep. Let's so rotate the uh, roots. I wanna do one more of these hairs. And do a duplicate. to break up this side. Make sure it's not too extreme. So like that. I think we have a pretty nice looking clump right now. Maybe we can use a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Right now it's pretty straight, this part. I want to twist a little bit to go like this. So it's a little bit more natural. This can be a little bit tricky with how many curves we have now. But be sure to spend some good amount of time on making these clumps. Because we're gonna be placing them all the time. So I think it's this one. like this fine so we're also gonna add some more curvature with uh with the curve itself so this should still be pretty straight let's just quickly check the poly count so 
that's 300, so if we place 10 of them, it's still not too much, so that's okay. For a hairstyle like this, I'm aiming for like, because I'm gonna do like a pretty version, I, I probably wanna go no higher than 30 to 40k tries. But if you're making this for like, a, let's say a game, it's an NPC character, you want to aim for more like 8 to 10k tries, probably. And if it's like a hero type, you can go to like 20, 25k. Don't worry too much about the uh, poly count. Because it's going to be really dependent on what type of project you're making. But for portfolio stuff, you can go pretty high, but don't go overkill. So again, let's draw a new curve. Now making sure to draw this in the front view so the other side is straight. And this is so cool from the, the plugin. Like we can just select all these clumps just select this and we can bind it and it's fast and it works perfectly just gotta flip it and that's all and the flip is dependent on your like your uvs because it might go from up to down and i need to flip them should put this back on one can go a little bit high actually now here we have a clump again. So let's take this clump. Duplicate it. Let's start placing it on top of the current stuff. Let's just hide this. One should be in the base clump. For this, let's let's use this because we have like two. Hmm. Actually, we we don't need a lot here, so let's just go with twenty-four, so we have a little bit of empty space. making all the curves invisible here. Let's go with a uh, white. Let's see, I'm gonna start off with this big chunk here. Yeah. I'm gonna have my reference on my older screen. Now let's actually get some real curvature in the clump. Don't worry too much about making the perfect clump. Like, as soon as you stop placing a lot of clumps and hair, it's just gonna, it's gonna blend in and it's gonna look okay. You can always unbind it and edit it and unbind it again. Want a bit more width here. And I want to add a lot of twisting. Okay. 
And I want to avoid shapes like this. Like here we have a lot of straightness. Let's just select the end point. And just move it down so we have like a little dip. That's going to make your hair look a lot more natural. Any harsh straight lines is going to look fake. Like here we have a lot of straightness. We, we do not want that. So just move it around until you can get some nice shapes in there. And I think we can make it a little bit less thick in the root. So take a quick before look. See how it's looking really perfect and boring. Let's see how much difference one clump makes. Hmm, this has too much roundness here. We need to move this in a little bit. Let's take this here and move it in a bit. I think we can make it a little bit thicker, maybe. Usually, the thicker you make a cut, uh, like the more volume you're gonna get out of it. But you don't want to make it too thick, where it's gonna look like stray. At that point, you just need to place more clumps. So let's try it like this. And yeah, that looks a lot better right now. You can see how we have a lot more volume in the, in the ponytail now. Take a look in Unreal as well. Remember we adjusted the texture, so we need to re-import everything. I do not like all this glittering of the lights that we have. So it's this light. Just disable that. Maybe we can rotate it a bit. take this one and just start kind of placing it over the ponytail first off i want to fill like the the hole here with one of those so find a position where you like it and all this that we don't see we can can cut those polygons away later when we do the cleanup phase. Straighten back a bit. Make sure that we have like a nice flow. I think like that's gonna be a pretty nice one. one on the other side as well. You do want to be a bit careful if you place these like everywhere. It can get a little bit noisy your hair.
And you don't want your hair to be one big noise. You do want to have like some points that are like flung straight and nice. But for now, I just want to place a bunch of them and see how it's filling up all the hair. And then later, as we need to, we can like get rid of some of them. But you can see what we're doing. We're creating like a, an outline of them. Around the base that we were making earlier. Again, I'm only adding points if I actually need them. Make sure to break up the flow a bit like like this is boring if we just add a little bit of curvature it's gonna be interesting i think something like this as you can see this area is pretty noisy by now you don't have like any clear things that are going on. Like here we have a clear strength of hair that's going on. But that's good. For now we have the volume. Then we can stick some cards in between them. To give a little bit more of a rest to the ponytail. Because right now, if you look here, your eyes don't know, don't really know where to look and it's one big noisy mess. Right here, you can clearly see like a nice flow. And here we don't have that yet. I think I want to move this one a little bit as well. Yeah, if you look at it from this angle, it's really straight. Or something more like that. That's a little bit more nice. You can see we have some ugly shading here. That's just the black of the card that you're seeing. But we can uh, cover this stuff up here. So I think four of those are fine. I think the ponytail's in a little bit of a better spot right now. Let's do a quick comparison. So take the base clumps, just move them out. Yeah, you can see how much that changes. So for now, let's go back to the the main hair. Uh, yeah, that, that's a lot. For now, I want to work on the baby hairs. Those are going to be really important. And the baby hairs are. Like here you can see there's a line. Let me just make a quick draw. We kind of have this line, right? Of the hairline. Then we had this card, but let's keep it like this. Then the baby hairs are gonna be these things. These are just short little hairs that are like fluffy and 
going crazy. We can add some here to make the blending softer. And also this one and this one. Then we can fill up this space with thin hairs. That's gonna blend the it's gonna blend it in really nicely with the skin. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and make the baby hairs. So first off we're gonna need a new texture. So let's go ahead and edit this one. And as you can see we have like a lot of really curvy little hairs. And there's some clumping. So to make the baby hairs here. Yeah, just gonna start off with a really thin curved hair. So to get a nice curve we can take a bend. Let's just bend it up. Something like that. Low the width. Don't need any depth. Make sure the root is really soft. Same for tip, let's make it a little bit more soft. And you can change the angle. Let's make sure we have some more randomness at the root. I'm just gonna make a few of these. So let's start off with this one. And for this one, I wanna have some clumping. Let's try moving the clumping after the bend. That looks pretty strange. So let's keep the buff. I'm just changing the scatter until I get something that I like. <coughs> so we got some baby hairs. I think trees fine. We have some nice variation. Let's also make, make one without that much bend. So just lower the strength. Let's put that one here. Let's do this for all of them. And let's lower the strength. And I think this one's looking pretty ugly. Can put a bit more density. And let's randomize the roots, the ends. I think we can get the most of it. like this Let's add a little bit of noise we zoom in so 
So something like this. It's just gonna break the hair up a little bit. Hmm. I think we can use a little bit more bent. It's looking really weird and like it's super straight. Get rid of the bent and let's do a curl. I think like... Let's try something like this for now. First we're gonna focus on the baby hairs on top of here, then we're gonna move on to like these, these long ones, and then maybe, no we'll probably do this on a other layer like the, the nice soft transition here. So for now let's keep like this. Let's make this one visible. And let's make cards <coughs> for all our new textures. Added. And I want to be sure that I added this topology. So preserve UVs. Let's do it like this. Because if we keep all these, all this empty space, we're gonna have a lot more alpha overdraw, which is bad. You want to try to get rid of that as much as you can. And let's take a card. Let's try to make it as nicely centered on the curve as we can. Oops. Uh, let's go back. Make sure that we disable the pre preserve UVs for this. So something like this. Gonna be a little messy now to work with curves though. That's okay. Actually it's really bad, hold on. So basically it becomes useless to work with curves at this point. Let's just undo this stuff. First let's take this one. Take this one, I think we can hit unbind. Nope, it doesn't work. Let's take this one. And we go to edit, delete by type. And make sure you don't have delete all by type. Delete by type, history. And why does that not work? Edit. I think we need to select the uh, Geometry itself. So this one added the lead by type history. So this is useless now. Let's delete that. 
Just take this and move it up. So now we have this little geometry thingy. Scented pivot. Let's see if this works. Uh, let's go here. Let's make a new curve. Before we do that, let's duplicate this one two times because we have two more like this. Now let's like this one Let's see if we can bind it so it did bind it just really weird so let's just undo that let's get rid of this curve let's delete these two this one just gonna do a, a quick export. Now I'm gonna delete it. Let's do an import again. Now we have it back, but make sure now just make sure that everything that was linked or it's just a bad plugin is gone. Now we just have a normal model. Let's apply material that doesn't work anymore. Do by hand. Go away blue. Make sure it's softened. Let's put the pivot where it should be. So DV to sh to snap and move the pivot. So like this. brown as well it's the neutral one let me see where is it where is it neutral now let's duplicate this one two times let's edit the uvs so something like that around here until it looks good so like that looks nice maybe it's one little bit like this and up to the last one Now one bad thing about doing this is it's gonna be pretty destructible the workflow now. But to do like a straight haircut and have all this curvature and geometry is just it's gonna be pretty damn expensive. So we're gonna have segments going like this because they need to be really smooth as it's an important cut. So we're gonna end up with a lot more geometry to get that. So I prefer to just do it like this. There's these little thingies here. Let's make them a little bit bigger. Let me see, I, I don't think we can still add this. Selection to layer. No, we can't. So that's a little bit of a shame, that's okay. Let's take these, uh, let's group them. Let's call them baby ass.
And this is getting a little bit messy by now. Let's take all our text. Let's call that text. Bang that clumps. Call this hair uh, shit. Let's get rid of the hair guy till we don't need it anymore. Let's move our custom normals all the way down. Let's take this one. Yeah. We just have these ones left. Let's call this cards. Let's move them to the hair sheet. So now we have our hair sheet over here. We can. This one's gonna be empty from now on. Now also if we do an export, we don't actually have the uh, whole sheet here, which is nice. So let's take these baby hairs, let's name them a little bit more of a normal uh, name. move them into the hair so main baby hairs let's call this curved cards now we can just lay them out by hand instead of moving the curve we're just gonna be moving the geometry let's also give them a different color maybe like a pink yeah that's really visible that's nice it's a little bit of a shame that I haven't found like uh, a good way to do this with the plugin Anybody knows of like uh, an easy way to do this that's a little bit less distracting, please uh, let me know in the comments. I think it's a little bit too big here. Put the object. I think a little bit more curvature maybe. Yeah, I think that's looking better. It's a little bit blocky here. I think I'm gonna baffle it once. Now we can edit the edge flow. I think it looked better before the baffle. So that's a little bit annoying that you're like fighting the topology and all. Like this maybe. Oh, we do need more curvature. And now I think maybe we can add one here. Just slightly push it out. I 
for the benefit as well. Just like the difficult part, you wanna be working with the UVs and so against the UVs. Sure to get as close to the edge as possible. You can see that we still have a little bit of kinking going on. Also, another thing that we can try is we can triangulate. As you can see, that fixed it a lot. That's just because the triangulation might be different. Let me just triangulate all of these. Just look for whatever way you like the best. And I'm changing the triangulation by Ctrl Alt, then an arrow. We can go to the editor. We can try to unfold this a bit. Now just move it again. Now you can see that we have a pretty smooth cut again, but we do still need some more curvature though. Let's try selecting this. Just move it slightly, twist it. I think that's okay for now. Let's just put a few of them down. I don't need to be too worried about these cards, just make them flow nicely. Make sure that they're clumping together. I think that one's pretty nice. Do another one over here. Like that. Actually, let me rotate this one. Let me select the both of them here. This is a little tricky. Now it's gonna work a little bit better from the front view. Otherwise we're not really gonna have anything. Let's make sure they have some depth as well. Now we can just group these together. can call this baby clump zero one Let's place a few more of them now one of the nice things is because we don't have to worry about anything being linked and curves breaking and all. You can just take a 
finish this play and flip them to have the black fat to do. Actually, that didn't work at all. Let's try it again. Mesh this play reverse. It's being really weird. Let's just take them. Let's delete the history on them. Let's try it again. I'm not sure why it's doing that. As you can see it's still being strange, like the, the shading and all. Let's go ahead and mesh display unlock normals. The same here. Let's try to smooth the normals. So that's working fine. Hitting G to repeat the last step. I think we should be able to flip them now. Yep. Let's do the same for this one. Let's just take these. Take all of these actually. Make sure that we do it for all. Mesh display. Unlock. Display and soften. So let's take a little clump. Be careful with where the roots are going in. Something like this should be fine. Just gonna combine it. We can delete by type. Make sure that you only delete this history. Clump merged. Now a good thing to sometimes do is to take a cut and see if you fucked, messed up the history. Now that this is much, we can easily take this. Let's first make a duplicate actually. Now we can just take like this and manipulate it more easily. And here I'm just pressing 3 to smooth everything out. Let's go back a little bit. So I want to have these hairs go in like this. Get rid of the triangulation that we did. This just so we can edit it a little bit better. So like that. And I want these just to be like to plant the baby hairs and the rest of the hair stall. These are just gonna be some hairs that are gonna blend in with the hair cards. By having some three-dimensional hairs here, it's gonna make it really nice the transition. Make them a little bit longer. Move them down a little bit. So like this. Make sure that the flow is okay. It's really important at this point. So let's select all of them here. 
rotation. So something like this maybe. So that's good, I think. Let's do an X button check. Actually, first we need to convert this. Go to modify, convert, and uh, smooth mesh to polygons. Now we can take this, let's do a mesh and reduce. Go ahead and reduce this as much as we can. Ah, that looks weird. Just keep it like this for now to check. And you can see that looks really nice. I think I I prefer to use curves for this. So let's just delete that and we'll go back to that one later. But we're definitely gonna redo that with like a straight card, but with curves. I think for now we don't need to worry about that. Let's take a look at our other baby hairs. Yeah, those are looking good. Put the unlit on there. Yeah, I like how they are looking. I think we can... Ah, let's keep those here. Start working with the other one. Give this one a different color. Green. Let's make this one red. Just so we can make sure that we're actually using the different cards. So we can easily visualize which one we used and which one we didn't use yet. So again, we need to adjust the card a bit. Like that, that's okay. I want to be careful that right now is really aligned this. I want to make sure that there's some difference actually. Take the green one. Again, I already know that I'm going to need to add some more curvature here. So this one, I think we can plant like this big chunk in nicely here. You can see it's just placing cards until stuff starts falling nicely together. Do a duplicate. A little bit of a kink there. It's okay like that. I'm 
And again, we can also convert it to make the card a little bit smoother, I guess. Let's just take the middle one and get rid of it. Nah. Let's not do that. At this point just kinda kinda place them like this. I'm just gonna blend the hair in together. Don't be too worried about this. To make sure that they're following the flow a bit. So let's do an export and check. You can see that we're mimicking this effect where we have these nice little soft hairs. It's looking pretty good. If we zoom in, you can see that a little bit weird, but we're never gonna be zooming in that far, so it's good for now. Let's take the clump here. Let's. Actually, I think we have one here, right? Yeah, we do too. Just duplicate those around for a bit. And these heads, they can be pretty chaotic. Take... Purple card. Let's fill up this empty space here. We can use one more. Here and one more here. And you can see how nice and fluffy that looks. Let's put one here so we have a little bit of a better transition from like this nice depth to flatness. We can also take these clumps. We can use them for cards that we made earlier, like right here. Just to try to add a little bit more depth to them. See, uh... And just gonna break it up a bit here, which is nice. Do another duplicate. I wanna have them all merged together, so let's take this one. Rotate it and invert. And just by making sure that you they place them in the other direction as well, like going this way, it's gonna blend a little bit better everything together. And again, don't think about this too much, just 
place a bunch of them and you'll be fine probably. You want to go kind of fast through this and then if you think it's looking bad you can adjust. Make sure that you follow the flow. Let's do one here as well. Just to fill up this empty space. I want to make sure that I'm not like curving out like that. I want them to actually go into the hair. I think like this should be pretty nice. Do like one more here. Now we can just come in and move some to make them bigger or smaller. It's just gonna add some extra variation. I think right here. Let's move this one in a bit. Then we need one more. Let's put that one here. Keep an eye on the poly count as well. And don't go too crazy on this. Uh, something like this already quite a lot but it's okay because all these cards are gonna have a lot of alpha overdraw so let's do an X button check so to get unreal open again I think that looks pretty nice and soft. I think we can move them around a little bit more. Then we're gonna need some like smaller thicker cards to bring in some interest. Because this here you have like clumped hair that looks interesting, right? And right now all that we have is this fluffy, noisy mess. Which is nice, but it doesn't look like like how it should be. This there should be some interesting areas. So, so. I think this is the wrong project. Zero on my project. Make sure that we're actually looking through our camera. Because the exposure settings are different. Let's go ahead and re-import everything. I think that looks really nice in Unreal Engine. We get this really soft looking hairs. I think these ones, the flat ones, they're, they're not working. If we take a look from here, you can clearly tell that it's a hair card. I think the ones that we placed here are just blending in the hair really nicely, so that's good. So 
So for now, let's take a baby curved hairs. Let's get rid of these ones. These are just bad. I think here we can keep them. Let's do a duplicate of this one though. Let's make this into a clump as well. If we just take one of these and we mix these two together here, that's right. Yeah, I think that looks like a slightly better clump. Yeah, that looks nicely. Make this one red as well. Let's go ahead and merge this together right away. rid of some that we did here just want to replace them with the red one so we can have a little bit of variation that's already looking a little bit more interesting I think we can Take most of them here. Just kill them up a little bit. And move them in. Yeah, that's looking a bit better. This should be lower though. Like if you see the, um, the eyebrow here, it's only a little bit of distance in between. Let's go back to Unreal. So we have an eyebrow in there. And you can see now that it doesn't feel as cards here. So yeah, that's definitely placed wrong. They need to be bigger and curved a little bit more. Make them bigger and let's curve them more. Maybe place them like right here. Let's do an export. The placement is a bit better, but they still need a bit more rotation. Yeah. 
So I think something like this, maybe. Now you can see we also got some nice clumping, which is good. Let's take a few here and rotate them more. You can see that this one's going in. Do not like the rotation on some of these. You can see this one should be better rotated. Ones. Just go in and make sure that that flow is okay. I think they're still a little bit too uniform, so let's take some clumps and move them in a bit. I think we can delete some of them. Something like this. Nah, these are not inside the group. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's way too much right now. Let's take those. Let's move them like here. a little bit better but not really getting the result that I I want I think for now uh, the green ones the ones that are really working on this layer let's make sure that we select all the green ones this is also important, don't get attached to something that you do. Just because we spent quite a lot of time on it. Now we see that it's not really looking as we hoped that it would look. Don't just keep them there because you spent the time on them. It's okay to just take everything and say backup, hide it, just get rid of it. Just make a new folder. Let's call this one work in progress. Let's just let me know like I didn't like those cards, but maybe I'll come back later and work a bit more with them. So 
So for now, let's keep like this. Let's go do that hairline thing that we were trying earlier. <clears throat> so let's make those hairs go in the... Let's check our textures. Hmm. Let's make a new texture for this. Let's take a single strand texture. Do a duplicate. Let's unlock it. Let's just up the width. want to get rid of the randomness so much just a little bit get rid of the randomness and slope slope in the root I think like that's okay do a little bit more cool I think I want to have a little bit of a clump. That's way too much. that looked uh, a little weird. that we're actually covering that little single hair just put on top in the outline I think that should work I'm not sure why that is not working oh that was a bad move <laughs> we actually moved this one quite a lot don't remember where that one should be Let's hope for the best. All right, so like that works. Let's call this one hairline three D. Moving your hair card like that after you did the uh, UVs and made like cards with them, it's a really bad idea. It's gonna mess up a lot of your hair, possibly. But luckily, we only used this one for the big clump one time yet. So, an easy way to see if you messed up your hair is to reload. And don't check your hair because it's a lot. And just check your hair sheet. So we use the one here. I just want to see if this one still looks normal. I'm not sure why... Why it doesn't have a curve anymore here. That's weird. Let's check our sheet. Let's 
what happened to the curve. I'm not sure why it's invisible, but okay. <laughs> it's weird. Doesn't seem like it messed up. That card's right here. Oh, uh, I have to go back in Photoshop and redo the action, of course. And you can see that we now just saved a little bit of space and textures. It's always good to have more space to work with later on. So this one's like right here. I think that's still the old texture that we're seeing. Why is it not updating? No. Nah. Doesn't update if you have it maximized, I think. Which is weird, but okay. Let's make a bit more space. this card and want to make sure that it works from the side and from the front so let's do another duplicate let's orient it have this it's gonna work from the front and from the side I think we can go ahead and make it a little bit less thick though here the same for the other one to hide all the curves yeah I think that looks nice so you can draw a curve rebuild it straighten it select these things and bind it and lastly with one and flip that's all 